A whole new style of editing. New videos. Daily. On your computer screen. Okay, whatever. Today Upcoming. I'm going to show you guys how to configure your playback so you can actually hear what you're doing. So the first thing is when you want to start off, it's just going to go to um, the file. Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Adobe Audition CS6 tutorial. It's Friday, it means the last video of this week and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to set up your uh, audio playback device or your playback audio device because uh, Monday, uh, previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to set up your microphone so if you want to see that video make sure to check out the description uh, so you can check out that video but um, today I'm going to show you guys how to configure your playback so you can actually hear what you're doing. So the first thing is when you want to start off it's just going to go to edit tab as you can see. When you go to preferences and you click on general just as we, when, when you you wanted to set up your microphone but the thing is that we're gonna do now is we click on audio hardware so because your microphone and your speakers are both hardware well makes sense no shit Sherlock. as you can see we're on this window and this means default input means your microphone so as you can see microphone it's just a Samsung CEO1U Pro microphone we don't want to pay attention to that because we're gonna um, set up the uh, speaker so the thing you want to do is when you click, click uh, on to default output this is just where you're gonna pick up pick out your speakers you have so if you have like example speakers like I do with headphones, you're gonna pick, uh, yeah, it says Luidsprekers, that's Dutch, but you wanna pick Realtek High Definition Audio because if you click on this one, Luidsprekers, Luidsprekers, whatever, Samsung CO1U Pro Microphone, if, we're if we are gonna select that as your speakers, I think the sounds it's like coming out of my microphone, like I can show you guys, it's coming out of this. Make sure you pick just the speakers that you have, so loudspeakers, real tech, high definition audio, so you can actually hear what you are, you know, doing, and you can every you can hear everything. That's basically the, the thing. So um, you just want to click on, and as you can see, device class, you just want to keep that on MME, uh, of course. So the master clock, uh, we're just gonna um, pick um, out loudspeaker, uh, loudspeakers, loudspeakers, uh, loud, real tech, high definition audio. You pick that one. You want to put the latency. You want to keep that on 200, and the sample rates is just 44,100 or 44,100, how you want to call it. So if you selected this one, um, really like high definition audio, you're pretty much done. So that's how similar this guys. I know this tutorial, I know those tutorials are really short, but that's just what I do. And that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. So if you want to see more of those Adobe Audition CS6 tutorials every Monday and Friday at 12 p.m. PST, make sure to subscribe down below. If you find this video helpful, make sure to reward it with a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. I want to thank you guys for watching to this last video of this week. I'll see you guys on Monday for a new video. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex, and the video that you're about to watch is a look of how everything started. Awesome, you guys are watching to a new Burning Question video, and today I'm gonna make a video. I am three years on YouTube, it has been outstanding. And what's gonna happen between this moment? 300 video. My name's LDHH Official. But that's not what you're driving with. I just refreshed my page. This week I'm gonna answer five. I'll see you guys very soon.